Hello and welcome to another video. Um, so if you saw earlier we took a look at the vanilla Ubuntu 19.10 um, beta. Um, I'll leave a link there so you can just have a look at that one. Um, so now we've got Mate open here which has apparently had quite a few changes now I've just sort of read the blog release release notes and they describe it as the paper cut release that sort of fixes a lot of niggling little issues but um, let's just pop open the release notes and have a look at it while we have a poke around. Okay, Ubuntu Mate Block. And there we go. <coughs> right, let's just get rid of the welcome screen for now. We don't really need to have a look at that. Here we go, 19.10 release notes. So, um, don't really mind about that. Let's just have a look at what's new. So, you've got Mate Desktop 1.22.2. All the updates are present in Ubuntu Mate 19.10. Plus, I've cherry picked a good deal of fixes from Mate Desktop development snapshots. Um, Compos and Compton have been removed. I do believe both of them have been removed. It is time to remove Compiz and Compton from the default Ubuntu Mate install. The fundamental reasons for including them no longer exist. And I do believe one of the fundamental reasons is screen tearing. <laughs> um, let's keep... Oh, hold on, we sort of jumped over to Windows Manager improvements. Support is properly fixed, which means that screen tearing is now a thing of the past. <laughs> and frame times in games. Brilliant. So one of my sort of pet peeves is installing a nice new sort of distribution and then sorting out screen tearing. So we've got some new key bindings here. So for maximum restore, sort of tile, that's sort of standard of your sort of super key in your directions. Okay, we've updated the application launcher key bindings. Okay, brisk menu and mate doc applet. Brisk menu is under, been a couple of years. Uh, thanks for the effort to come, Paul. Okay, so let's have a look at the menu here. Nice. Mate panel. Yeah, this is one of the things that annoyed me. Uh, it happens in a few other distributions. Um, icons in sort of status bars and things in the panels just being far too big. Um, so if you look here, it shows you here before and after. Now they're all the right size, thank goodness. Um, mate window applets have received a number of bug fixes. Notification center. Evolution replaces Thunderbird. But brilliant. I much prefer Evolution. It's better for your sort of anything other than just email so you know it's your tasks calendar it just syncs everything so it's i actually prefer it no mpv replaces vlc um not too sure about that one i do believe they're doing it for tighter desktop integration so i understand it from that that perspective most desktop environments are lacking a screen magnifier which is essential application for visually impaired computers so we've got magnus ubuntu mate themes dozens of themes related bugs blah 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 the most notable theme issues have been resolved our expanders and tree view are now sensible size mate tweak and ubuntu welcome nvidia drivers and iso optimization so nvidia drivers are now included in the iso i do believe um, and they've managed to keep it at just over two point something gig ISO size. So let's just have a little look around now. <clears throat> let's have a look at the wallpaper packs. Okay. Oh, classic. That's always on the Ubuntu mates. Right, let's leave it with that as we have a look around. So, what I'm going to do is open up Control Center. And we shall go to the look and feel and then change the appearance no that's not what I want, let's go into mate tweak sorry panel here we go, this is what I want to have a look at, so let's have a look at the different ways to sort of organise your desktop, so contemporary ok is that I'm not too sure what I feel about that, ok here we go that's contemporary, let's keep going, so Cupertino sort of a Mac like feel with a dock at the bottom like so brisk menu needed to restart then icon zoom it's just plank I do believe yeah it's just plank and you can install your own themes etc so let's have a look at mutiny which is meant to look like unity 
Um, reload. Oh, what's happened here? And there we're back. Can we actually change the size of this Unity bar? I think it's massive. Um, let's get back to here. <coughs> let's keep going anyway. So netbook. And that's netbook, just the panel at the top. Pantheon, sort of elementary. OS style. There we have, there we have Pantheon. Let's just get back to tweaks. Where did we go? There we are. Redmond, which is sort of a Microsofty sort of feel, I guess. Down at the bottom there. And then your sort of start menu kind of thing. Okay, cool. Let's just go back to. Oh, let's just check traditional quickly as well. Okay, so let's just leave it on familiar, which is what it was on when I installed it. Mm, let's have a little poke around. There's what other themes it comes with. Um, let's, oh, let's open up Tweak again. Is that all you get from Tweak? Let's just open settings. Oh. Control center. Right, let's go into appearance. Um, so you've got a make back make border. So this is what it comes with out of the box. Let's have a look at this one here. Okay. Um, let's leave it on a bit of mate. Oh, what's black mate? I don't like this this bit here. It's not very nice, I don't think. Let's leave it on ambient mate dark. And let's just pop open a terminal. And let's just install arc theme. And mocker icon theme. Let's just leave it as that. Okay. Um Let's see what else we come installed with. So as I said, it's it replaced VLC with its with GNOME MPV. Rhythm box for your music, cheese for your webcam. Comes with the full LibreOffice suite. Evolution is now your mail, transmission, and Firefox for your web browsing. It's just taking a little while there. So while it's doing that. Let's just pop open a few things here and see what else we come with. Have we got the about? It's actually the about me. Yeah, user. There we go, a bit new mate guide. Okay, I think we, we can just skip this all together. Right, this is taking a little while to download and install. While it's doing that, let's just pop open a few applications and see how it handles multiple things open as it is a beta. See if we experience any crashes or lags. Let's open up Libra. Let's open up Firefox. Let's just have a look at the indicator panel, panel indicators here. Very nice. Cool, let's just keep opening up. Let's open up a YouTube page. And let's just open up. A, oh, maybe we won't. Oh, UTUB, that'll be why. There we are, we'll just open up sort of three of these. I've given the virtual machine four gigs of RAM. So that's still going there. So task switcher, pretty nice standard affair. And then let's have a look how Kaja looks, the file manager with this dark theme. So Pluma, I do believe, is your text editor. I'll probably go ahead and install Gedit if I was to use this. So it's taking, Libra's taking a little while to, to open. 
it and let's have a little one. Okay, so Libra's taking a bit of time there. Let's open up some other things. Why not, eh? Shot well for your image. And then I have mate for your viewer. So Shotwell's more of a library manager, is it? I do believe. Let's open up transmission as well. Oh, that's a bit annoying. There we go. All right, we're getting feeling a nice bit of slow down now. How's this getting on? Oh, twelve percent. Oh, I think Libra's just about to open. So here's your desktop switcher as well at the bottom here. Um, let's open up the keyboard shortcuts actually and see. Because I do believe they've, they've changed a lot of them in the release notes. But let's have a look how you switch the virtual desktops. Is it just control along or something like that? Or control super? No, let's have a look. Keyboard shortcut sound, desktop. Um, do they have... Oh, I think we've, we've got a lag. Oh, here we go. Libra's up now. Let's get back to where we were here. Windows management. Okay. Switch to workspace. This, right. Control Alt. So it's Control Alt. <coughs> directional keys to go to different workspaces. Control Alt Left. So let's have a look at this. There we go. And there's your workspace switcher there. I thought I quite like that actually. Did you know? No, I did not. Um, you can have tips there as well if you like. Okay, I think that looks quite nice with the theming there. Right, let's close that. Let's close that. That's still doing its thing. Um, we're probably going to end the video there anyway. All I was going to do was see what it looked like with the arc darker theme and mocker icons, but you know that can wait. Um, let's open the system monitor and just see what it's eating up at the moment. Okay, so memory is at one point three out of three point eight. No swap is currently in use. Probably 60. 60, yeah. So the probably change that to something like 10 or something. Okay, cool. So CPU sort of at 101 core there and sort of fluctuating on idle on each of these. So I've given it three cores on the virtual machine here on a Ryzen CPU. Um, I think this has got stuck, but we'll uh, we'll leave it there. So. That's Ubuntu 19.10 beta release. If you would like to download it and give it a try for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.